This course is brought to you by Appy Pie as part of our Academy series. Number 23, how to be a contrarian and reap the benefits. Now, what it means to be contrarian, because the rest of this lecture, the rest of this video is going to build upon that. A contrarian is when somebody does the opposite of what's normal. So if normal is to do X, this person is doing Y. They're going against the grain, they're going against the flow of the river, so to speak, and they're reaping the benefits, and we'll get into this. Into this. Now, what can this apply to? How can it benefit you? When do you go to work? Now, if you have a long commute time, then this is going to affect when you go to work. If you go between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m., you're going to hit the most traffic. If you change the time you go into work, whether it's earlier or later, assuming it's fine with your boss or with whoever's your manager or supervisor or whoever's in charge, if you change the time you go to work, you reap the benefits, you don't have to worry about traffic, less commute time. Problem solved. When do you leave from work? If it's after 4 p.m., after 5 p.m., after 6 p.m., you're going to hit traffic again. Use this to your benefit. When do you go to work? This is an example of where this applies. You go against the grain. You go against what's normal, that normal time to drive, that normal time to commute. You're going to reap the benefits. When do you shop? Do you shop at peak hours? Do you shop during the weekends for clothes, for groceries, so on and so forth? If you're hitting the peak hours of a shopping mall, of a grocery store, you're going to have to wait in lines, you're going to have to do X, Y, Z, you're going to have to take more time to park and find a parking spot. If you shop when it's less likely for people to be there, when it's not peak hours, you're going to be able to shop a lot quicker, be able to shop a lot more efficiently, get in, get out. So that's another example of where this can apply to. When do you have fun? So not necessarily are you going to be having fun at you know 4 a.m. on a Tuesday just because I told you so, but an example would be an amusement park. You know, weekends and holidays are the highest hours, the highest volume of people at an amusement park. You're going to be waiting in line. You're going to be waiting for concessions. You're going to spend most of the time waiting instead of having fun. If you go to an amusement park on a Tuesday or at a time when it's slower, you can have more fun in a shorter amount of time. These are just three examples of how you can be a contrarian, go against what's normal, and reap the benefits. What else can you think of? What else in your life can you do the opposite of what's normal, opposite of what most people do, what conventional wisdom dictates, and save time, save energy, and save attention?